your returners for homecoming weekend. There are the ERAs, and we are joined by two of them up here in the booth. There's one bigger smile than another. <laughs> We're considering the ERAs. Mike Saradka, Keith Folk, thanks for stopping by again. Well, thanks for having us again. You know, it's been a great weekend. And Great to see you guys again. Enjoying yourselves? Absolutely. Having great a great time. great time. Well, if it works out where the Sox actually win this game, take three or four from the Tigers on your homecoming weekend, we're going to have you guys here all the time to throw out the first pitch because if you don't need arm <laughs> surgery after that, you guys did a nice job. Yeah. A couple more times. <laughs> <laughs> couple, yeah. We'll be back up on the rubber throwing in. Yeah. Well, taking a look at some of the salaries, it might not be a bad plan. <laughs> uh, minimum's almost 600. I'll sign it up. Two strike fly ball center field Garcia is back there and there's enough room. That's nice to see for two pitchers yeah. here. You right? know what's funny though when you're up here I can I can now I can see why all the fans every time a fly ball is like oh because it's like oh you know that ball looks like it's going a lot further than it does. And you guys are saying come on that's not yeah, that. that's a routine. <laughs> Three nineties routine come on. Yeah. All right. What's your uh, what's your favorite part of the weekend so far. Uh, I would have to say coming back and seeing a lot of the, the same faces, you know, when we used to walk the tunnel in from the parking lot, you know, it's amazing how many of the original employees are original for us. They're still here. So when you walk down that tunnel, it's like it feels, you know, it's, it's like a time port to take you back and, you know, it just makes, uh, you know, brings back some good memories. Yeah, it's like time hasn't changed. You know, you, you still see the same guys. And obviously coming back and seeing the players, um, some of the coaches that were, were still around when, when we were playing, and uh, just the atmos overall atmosphere of being on the field and, and when the game uh, starts to starts to begin and the, the whole process of, of getting the, get the energy starting to turn up. Do you remember your first game in this ballpark, either of you? Absolutely, I remember. Uh, I got called up from Double A and uh, had to pitch against Tim Wakefield, who was like 13 and one. The Red Sox were in first place. And I was facing Willie McGee, Willie McGee as my first hitter. Oh my I was goodness. like, for, for sure he's going to take the first pitch, so I'm just going to groove a fastball, throw it right down the middle, he whacks right back over my head for a base hit. <laughs> I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Welcome here, right? Welcome I just picture Willie leagues. McGee like walking up, dragging his bag. <laughs> a goofy little walk. That was funny. I don't remember mine. I remember, I remember the last game of 97, but uh, I don't remember the first one here. What was the last game like? Uh, it was exciting. It was the last day of the season, so that's always exciting. But uh, I remember, I thought we were playing the Royals, and ended up striking the guy out, and all the guys were kind of excited. And that's when I found out that you know, we finished second place that year, and you get second place money. So it was like <laughs> an extra 1500 bucks to help get you through the winter. So it was, it was exciting. I was saying, these days, it increases your ability to tip with what the guys are making and yeah. everything else. The, uh, yeah. the second place money, maybe not quite as important as it was, but yeah. it still is important for the guys associated with the team. Your trainers, your your people who arrange travel, things like yeah. that. I mean, yeah, we couldn't do it without the behind the scenes guys for sure. I mean, they, they take care of so much stuff for us, all the planning, all the all the equipment, um, all the logistics, and uh, you know that allows us to, just to prepare and train and get ready for the game. When you look at some of the players, not all, but some of the players. Are you kind of surprised at how young they appear to be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a few years. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it is because, you know, it's like, um, you know, I got to big leagues when I was 24, and I look at pitchers, and I was like, man, I look, you know, like I was 18. And nowadays, same thing. You look, and it's like, wow. You know, you just kind of, over a generation, you know, just you forget that baseball, they just keep producing more and more players, and they just keep pushing you out. Yeah. And I have a hard time. I had my 46th birthday the other day, and I have a hard time. Uh, imagining what Nolan Ryan was going through when he was 46 being on the map. <laughs> still, still getting after it. You remember that guy? Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hermie? Herm Hermie. Schneider. Herm Schneider. Yeah, we took a tour of the clubhouse and all the facilities now. And, man, uh, you know, the White Sox have done a great job of, of keeping up with the times and updating equipment. And that clubhouse is <laughs> it's something special. How's it changed? What what you used to have? Um. Uh, I mean, it's always been that long clubhouse, but, you know, it stopped at the back of the, the hydro room, you know, the training room, and, you know, the food room was real small, and, you know, they've, they found room, blown out walls, and opened things up, and now it's, you know, it's like a, it's a palace in there. Yeah. So you mean that that executive golf course that they have in there, they didn't have that when you guys were here? Yeah. Not quite. Well, it's funny, with the old body, we walked back into the, uh, 
the cryo machine, you know, in the very back, and it's like we wanted to get in there. It's been a long weekend walking <laughs> around. It's like I want to get in that cryo machine and you know, and then uh, reduce the temperature a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What uh, what memories have come rushing back? Um, just what a what a great bunch of guys we had, and and what uh, you know like. We see in the modern age the guys, you know, with some, some of the guys on their phones or doing some of the, the tech, technological things where we didn't have that stuff. So we had to have bonds between, you know, and build relationships with your teammates and your coaches. There was no, dis there was no distractions other than, you know, how are we going to beat these guys and how do we attack these guys? And, and you know, what are you going to do in this situation and what am I going to do in the, in the particular situation? We'd keep you around, but we have to go tweet and Instagram. So <laughs> there you gotta go. go. Mike Zarate, Keith Folk, thank you guys. They're good guys. Great to see you. Sir.